Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's setup is a little bit different. Um, I'm filming in my living room slash dining room, but I just want to point out that Strider's play pen is in the back. So if you're wondering what that is, that's that. I always feel like I need this perfect clean space behind me before I film, but that's just not reality. This is reality right now. The table is a mess over there. There is Strider's pen. Otherwise, it would just be so impossible to film if I needed my space to be 100% perfect every single time. This one, I should kind of throw that out there um, because at first I literally was thinking about not filming in here because of his pen and how it looked so bad, but that's just real life. I have been wanting to film today's video for some time. As you can tell from the title, it's my best thrift store and also antique store finds because a lot of the things I have to show you, well, I don't have too much, but most of the things that I have are actually from one of my favorite antique stores. I do try to shop mainly at thrift stores just because the prices are a little bit better there, like Salvation Army and Habitat for Humanity. They usually have amazing prices and I have found some really cool pieces from there. But I'm going to first sit down and show you the things that I have that are that I can hold. The first items actually are all kind of similar. I don't think I got them. Yeah, I got them at the same place actually. There are three baskets. First one is this right here. I love this basket. I think the design is really beautiful. It's very delicate compared to the other two I have to show you. And it is kind of like broken right there. I got this at Habitat, no, I got this at Salvation Army for like 99 cents or something like that. And I haven't found a final spot for this yet. Right now I have it on top of my toilet seat with like nothing in it. I don't know if I'm going to leave it just plain like this or if I'm going to put something in it. I still have to decide. It's been sitting on there for like months now and I haven't decided. I think I'm just going to leave it plain because I do just love the beautiful intricate design of this basket. The next basket I have is my favorite. This one right here. This detail right there. It's so beautiful and the like raton, I think that's what it is, is like very thick and closely s stitched, no, closely woven. So it feels very sturdy. And then they have these like braided details going like that, it's so pretty. I actually use this basket in my pantry for onions and garlic. So you can't see the pretty basket like out in my house. I just don't have a spot for it, but I do love every time I go and get my onions or garlic. I just love looking at this basket. So even though it is hidden somewhat, I, I still love it in there. The next basket, I actually have stuff in it because um, I didn't really take it all out, but it's this one here. I got this one and that one I showed before at the same place. It's an antique store near me that has like amazing prices. I love this one. It has a bigger handle and the handle is like kind of braided. This one I just use in my linen closet for things like medicine or little travel size creams and stuff. I'll just stuff it all in here. Again, even though you can't see it from like the outside, for me when I open up my closet or pantry and I see little things like this, it just makes me really happy. I got this and this basket actually for my flower girls for our wedding and they were just so beautiful. I was thinking about buying them from Etsy or something, but I just thought thrifting them would be a sweeter thing. Like I thought it'd be so sweet to have something that's like truly old or I don't know how old these are, but they feel old and they kind of have like that old smell. The next thing I have is this measuring cup that I found. It's really cool actually because it has, let me see, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like the, it says three cups, the brand, and then at the bottom it says United Kingdom, which I thought was really cool and kind of the reason why I bought it. So I have this out for any time that I have coffee, like guests over for coffee, I will take this out and put some half and half in it and use it for my coffee. And I think it's really, really pretty. I love finding different things like that. that aren't like typical creamer holders, you know, that's something that's different. It's a measuring cup. Kind of how I like to do things um, around my house and things from the thrift store. Like their intended use, I don't use it that way. The next thing I have are these beautiful blue and white dishes that are actually from the United Kingdom as well. I love that logo so much. These are so me. I can't even 
explain it. They are so me. And around the edge, it has like this beautiful brown, like detailing that's kind of coming into the blue. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a lot of blue and white things in my house. I love blue and white so much. And I just think that these are so beautiful. I really do wish I had some type of shelf where I can like hang them up because I just love blue and white. If you guys know me, you know that I love tea. I love tea times. I love teapots, teacups, everything like that. So I have, ugh, I have this teapot here. You guys are probably seeing a theme. I love England. I love old English things. Funny story. My mom actually has this exact same teapot. And when we would have tea like back at my house when I lived there, I would always grab this teapot. I loved this teapot for some reason. And then I went to my local thrift store and they had it there. And I was so shocked because I had never seen this teapot like anywhere else. I didn't know it was like a thing. I love it so much. Anytime I'm having tea with like a bunch of guests, I'll always use this teapot because it's really big. And I love the like black stripe around the top and the black stripe right along there. I have a teapot obsession. So um, I've actually like stopped myself from getting more teapots, but this one is just definitely my favorite. The next item, I actually keep this out in my kitchen. It is this mortar and pestle from Habitat for Humanity. It's so heavy, actually, it's like very, very heavy. But it's marble, and we got this for $5. I was with Tommy the day we got it, and thankfully he knew one of the workers there, and he was like, listen, do you think we can get this for like $5 or something? And she, she was like, yeah, take it. So we did, we got it for only $5, and I love it. I have it next to like my stove area, and I just think it adds a really pretty touch. Then I got this thing, which I believe is a pencil holder. So it's like this really pretty tan marble color. The mom and I are thrifting and we found this together. And um, it's, I think it's originally for pencils, which would be nice too, but I actually use it for our toothbrushes. I just think it's so pretty and on top of my marble countertop, like my vanity top, which is marble, I think this looks really pretty too because it's like another layer of marble, but it's a different color. So the next two pieces I have to share are actually clothing items. There's not that many and you've probably already seen them before, but they are some of like my best thrifted finds when it comes to clothing. Because if you know me, I don't like thrifting clothing very much unless I can tell that it's like really new and not used and smelly. First one I got is actually kind of new. I found it the other day at my local Salvation Army. It's from H&M. It's this button down white shirt that is so soft. It feels like it's been worn in, but it didn't have like any stains, smells, nothing. So I don't know if it's like new or what, but I love it. I will just tuck in the front or I'll tie it up actually, but I love it. And this Salvation Army near me actually has a lot of like Zara, H&M, Gap items, which I'm really thankful for. Really happy about this. I only got it for $2.99. The next item you've seen me talk about in my thrift hauls or my clothing hauls, it's this chunky cardigan, kind of like a short cardigan. It's not cropped. It comes like a little bit below my hips. And I just love the color. It's like a really nice creamy knit. The knit texture on here is really nice. I love it. I think I only got this for like $3. There is a little, little tiny stain somewhere over here. Like I can't even find it. It's that small. But sometimes when I'll put it on, I'll like see it. It's okay. It's a thrifted item. It was only like $4. So I really don't care that much but I do love this. I wear it all the time. And the last clothing item I have is probably my favorite. It's these jeans here from the brand Liz Clyborne. I don't really know the brand, but I just love them because they're so perfect. Like the color is perfect. The fit is like a really nice kind of high rise mom jean fit. They have like no stains or anything on them. I literally love these jeans so much. I think they were like, two dollars three dollars i can't remember exactly they were definitely less than 10 which is insane but i love these jeans i've worn them so so much i just dropped my water bottle this next item i don't know if it counts as like thrifted but i got it off of poshmark so you can kind of say that's like consignment shopping online but i got this 
bag. This bag is just all around perfection. Literally, it's so beautiful. Like the woven pattern is so pretty. And inside, it's actually really big. I can put so much stuff in here. This has been like my go-to beach bag because it has this thing. So you can like do that with it. So it closes it. I've been able to fit books in here, food, water bottles, phones, like literally everything in here. I have used this. I have used this like way too much. I only got it for about like... $11, I think, from Poshmark. So that's why I just thought I'd throw this bag in here. But I didn't actually like go out and thrift this bag. I have one more bag that I bought probably, I wanna say like seven years ago. Something like crazy. We were at the beach and they had this huge thrift store like outside. I think it was done by like this huge church. They had like these big white tents and tons and tons of boxes of like old clothing, bags, shoes, things like that. So I found this bag, which I'm just, this like no words. I have been obsessed with this bag for so long. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. It truly is. The quality of this bag is so good. It doesn't like seem new, but it feels new. I can't explain it. It has this awesome clasp. I actually keep all of my bathing suits in here. It's what I've been doing for so long. I just keep my bathing suits in here. I just like am obsessed with this pattern here. I think this is the best bag of all time. And I got this bag, guys, for a dollar. So that was like one of the best thrifted finds ever. Cause like, who would not want this bag? And it also has little feet at the bottom. So I love this bag so much. I still marvel at the fact that I got this for a dollar. So three of the things I wanna show you are over here actually. One of them is actually this jar here. I keep my pampas grass in it that I found right outside of our house. It's this huge jar, I have been looking for a jar like this for a long time. It's actually really big. That's my hand and it's really big. I love this. I love that like jade color. Truly guys, I was looking for one exactly like this and I found one at my antique store. And this was only like $20. So I love this. And the other two things that I found at the thrift store were these two pieces, actually three pieces. This one, this one, and that one. And they are actually like true porcelain. I got both of these, those two, for $5 altogether, which is insane. Um, and these other two I did not thrift. But this one I also got a little bit later at the same thrift store. Like I said before, I love blue and white. So I just love this setup right here. I would say those two pieces, like the bigger ones, were honestly one of like my best thrifted finds when it comes to like home decor because $5 for two of those, that's insane. I just have one piece of art that I wanna show you guys that is definitely my favorite. You guys have definitely seen this one before. This piece right here, you guys, is probably my absolute favorite piece in the entire world. It is this beautiful oil painting. It's so huge. I love it so much. We actually reframed it. We got it framed at Michael's to look like old because the one before this was not very pretty. We found this piece at our local Salvation Army for $119. So definitely a major steal. It's like by far my favorite piece in the entire house. The last item I want to show you guys is actually one of my favorite pieces in my house, like big pieces. It is this chair right here. It's this green chair. You've definitely seen it on my Instagram. The lighting is really bad because it's like the sun's coming in this way, but this green chair is my favorite. So, little story behind this chair. I thrifted this chair years ago and I believe I got it for like $20 maybe. And what Tommy and I did, it was actually green before this, but it was a really bad green. Tommy and I just reupholstered it, and then we actually stained these legs. It has become my favorite piece of the entire house. So that completes my best thrifted finds. I actually have a lot more thrifted pieces in my house that I will show you guys in my house tour very soon. I plan to film it next week because we are actually finishing 
Tommy's office, which that we've put that office off for a long time. It's not completely finished yet, um, but it's like 90% finished. And you'll see a lot more of the pieces, like some of my favorite pieces. But that completes this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that some of the pieces were interesting to you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.